Hey Aries, welcome to your February 2020 love forecast reading. It's for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Soulmates, love relationships in general. For the sun sign of Aries can also be rising sign. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing, liking, sharing the video. And for those who are returning, you know how much I appreciate you. I'm really enjoying engaging with you in the comments and receiving emails and it's just been great so thanks for coming back um this will not resonate with everyone but if it doesn't you can check out the video in this series that represents your rising sign that's the face we show to the world and oftentimes in interpersonal relationships especially love relationships romantic relationships that's where stuff goes haywire because the, per the face we show to the world is not always in alignment with who we are at our core okay so if you're an aries this is your sun sign your true personality your core personality um, but your rising sign might be who your divine counterpart is seeing just gonna put that out there that message has needed to go through to certain people anyway pulling from the enchanted map for divine masculine and for divine feminine just a little oracle to get us going here card 41 unexpected visitors i love this card see she's peeking through a mouse hole there it's in reverse though and divine feminine gets ride the wave beautiful dolphins they are definitely representative of soulmates aren't they both cards are in reverse though so i'm gonna i'm gonna take a look at it sorry i'm struggling with light here it's been so I, i'm in the dark i know it looks very bright to you but i'm looking at darkness here um <coughs> okay so this unexpected visitors card in reverse for divine masculine Unpleasant news is only unpleasant when you resist accepting what is. Sometimes the things most the thing most desired is kept away from you because it's not for the highest good of you or others. Sometimes there is loss or disappointment due to a destiny whose pattern can't be understood yet. Change is something that may be forced upon you, tower, like bad weather threatens a boat. Adapt to the shift in conditions and think how beautiful the sky will be afterward accept what is and a more fulfilling path will soon be revealed remember that if you expect the unexpected nothing can come as a shock so divine masculine energy here and by the way if you think i have it reversed just swap the energies around but i'm going to speak divine masculine divine feminine and then it's up to you to decide which part um in the connection resonates with you the most okay and you know we have both energies within us anyway so <clears throat> divine feminine gets ride the wave in reverse you may be mistaking a rogue wave for a fun ride you can only coast for so long before you hit the shoreline with a smack the tide is ebbing and your activities are now preparing you for when that wonderful wave comes in for you to ride. You're meant to learn how to be a strong swimmer now. Don't worry, preparation ensures a successful result. However, you must wait patiently for the right moment to come. Now is the time for conscious preparation and skill building. Wow. <clears throat> don't mistake a rogue wave is the take home message i is this a rogue wave should be the title of this reading oh my gosh okay well those energies are a little daunting aren't they expect the unexpected and don't mistake a rogue wave i'm sorry i'm laughing aries you know i love you <laughs> and I do I really do okay so we're looking at divine masculine showing up as king of swords this is someone who lives by a code of honor integrity truthfulness character did I say honesty this is someone who can be um a little cool and detached 
not only that, uh, by the way, energies of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not always forward with emotion, kind of reserved. And you can see the wheels turning in their head, right? A big, a thinker. So divine masculine could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If not, they could be in law enforcement or the legal profession or the military. They could have a military background, you know, <clears throat> anything where living by a code is, is part of what they do could just be a person who's very much a big, you know, a big thinker, a strategic mind. Divine masculine comes through as the magician. Manifesting something, has all the tools at their disposal. Not sure what they're going to use them for. Let's see. The situation between the two, seven of pentacles, it's a waiting game. Patience is required. That's the situation. Seeds have been planted and something's trying to take root. Um, let me just see the, the challenge or the dynamic knight of wands so it almost feels like that the knight of wands sagittarian energy to me oh and by the way the magician here is gemini virgo energy this knight of wands fast moving passionate kind of swashbuckler energy comes in sweeps you off your feet kind of energy but sometimes they move too fast they move on impulse so to me it feels like the dynamic here is the situation is about having patience and allowing something to grow organically versus wanting things very impulsively to move quickly this is the rogue wave this is not the rogue wave. This is stability. This is the rogue wave. So we have that. So now I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. One more, please. Now we're looking at how the counterparts feel about each other. And in, in the extended, I'm going to use the same deck to look at uh, a message to you, Aries from Spirit from the universe, your higher self, and then the divine counterparts, energetic messages to one another, as well as outcome timing cards, just to see how things might unfold going forward. But for now, how does divine masculine feel about divine feminine? Feels that divine feminine is a little bit closed off. Little hermit, Virgo energy here, maybe a little unto themselves. And that goes very well here with this magician and hermit energy. Since the hermit's Virgo and the magician is Gemini and Virgo, um, I know I'm having troubles with this light, uh, the reflection. But the cards are really beautiful, trust me. <laughs> anyway, it does feel like divine masculine is seeing divine feminine appropriately, reading them accurately. Maybe a little unto themselves, a little mysterious, uh, very uh, gone within kind of hermited, right? A little cloistered, quiet. It can also be a little unapproachable. It can also be very intriguing, right? This is the, the hermit is the sage, the inner sage, really goes within, um, does 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 a deep dive into themselves and what their inner workings and and what they're all about and then comes out with this lantern into the darkness to spread the light and, and light the path for others to follow to make that that inner work a little easier for the next person so there's a very positive aspect but it can be kind of like whoa what is that <laughs> I'm either intrigued or I'm going to turn and run. It's that. Okay, so uh, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is not sure that Divine Masculine can be trusted. Seven of Swords. We'll have to take a look at what that might be about. And this is the same deck I'll use for the other cards uh, in the extended. But for now, let's go ahead and clarify what we've got going here. All right, we've got King of Swords for Divine Masculine, please. 
I love the King of Swords. I know I know the King of Swords is not the most user friendly, but at least you know you're getting the truth. Yes, they're coming across very emotionally detached, not interested. You know, it's like they're looking at the three cups saying, yeah, meh, so what? And Spirit's like, up here, up here, Ace of Cups, right in front of you, right over your head. And, you know, huh, what? Just not, not it, it doesn't even have their head in the game there. And on top of that is the Page of Swords. So sort of um, waiting for a message, I feel. They could be watching Divine Feminine. It could be just keeping tabs, social media, uh, maybe through friends or somebody that knows them, both. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this in a moment. Yeah, what's underneath, though? The underlying motivation here for this Divine Masculine, things that are hidden from them, even from themselves and their own motivations, Ten of Pentacles, life partnership. I feel like uh, this divine masculine is really being very discerning. That's what I'm getting. Very discerning. Uh, cut into the chase. Yeah, I don't want to waste my time with that, that, that. I want the real deal. Well, the real deal is right in front of them, but they're not seeing it yet. Yet. This is what they want underneath. They're looking for life partnership, right? Walking through that gate to their um, compound, you know, where all the family comes, where everybody congregates. This is where all the abundance lives, the abundance of joy, the abundance of wealth, the abundance of happiness, the abundance of health. It's all here just through that arch. And I feel like that's what Divine Masculine wants and will accept no substitutions. And so it's kind of waiting for a sign here. Page of Swords, waiting for a message or a sign or checking up on the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine as the Magician has all the tools at their disposal to manifest, but what is it they're trying to manifest? They're trying to manifest commitment. And a brand new start, leap of faith, brand new day. I don't know which one fell out in what order, uh, but I feel like it's reversed. I feel like when I look at this, I see a story here of divine feminine manifesting the divine masculine to take a leap of faith toward this connection in a committed way. And I know commitment's what Divine Masculine wants because this is a card of commitment as well. So I kind of feel like they're on the same page, but they're just, um, I don't think Divine Masculine is clued in yet as to how serious the focus is. Look at the look of intent on this magician's face. <laughs> so I kind of feel... Um, that that's a little lost on Divine Masculine right now. But I do think that you want the same things. I do think you want the same things. So let's take a look at this Seven of Pentacles. That's the situation. It's been a waiting game. This is not, this is not moving fast, which is what Divine Feminine wants. It's not moving fast. Seven of Pentacles has a situation. What is this about? Yeah, weighing options here. Um, again, Pentacles on Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Not sure. Not sure you can go much farther, that you can wait much longer. But this is a card that says don't give up. One more, please. A little message of stability here. So I feel like there's been some effort, some contact between the two counterparts that um, 
has given just enough grounding, just enough of a sense of, oh, okay, maybe this is going to become a thing, but it's not a thing yet. It's not a thing yet. How do I make it a thing? How do I make it a thing? And that's the situation is it's been a long road. And I think that one of these parties is sort of giving up. It could be both energies because you know that divine masculine is sort of not wanting any substitutions for the real deal and divine feminines trying to manifest the real deal. And I feel like um, it's like this. Not connecting on that on that part of the situation, but there's been just enough of communication of a state to keep things moving forward. But the challenge is it's not moving fast enough. Knight of Wands though, that can be re that can be cycling through. That can be player energy at times. In its lower vibration, Knight of Wands Mm. Two of Cups. Wow. High Priestess. Now we have the Magician and the High Priestess. Um, there's not a lot of communication here at all. So that's what I think the problem is. This is this this is the challenge to the situation. The challenge to the situation. The situation is all about things aren't moving fast enough. We've been playing a waiting game, trying to make it real. It's not happening. About to give up. Little bit of something, something. Page of Pentacles just keeps keeps the parties engaged enough to take the next step, but it's not moving fast enough. Here is this um, this Knight of Wands with the Two of Cups. That's the soulmates right there. It's not moving fast enough, and and so and there's not a real good levels of communication. You may not be talking frequently. Messages may be very small and sort of superficial. Is what I'm getting. And underneath, yeah, Ace of Cups. There it is, dear masculine. Being handed the Ace of Cups, it's here. This is this is what you don't know to this challenge. Things not moving fast enough? Well, if this is what you seek, is it worth the wait or is it not worth the wait? I'm just putting that out there for whoever needed to hear that. And I think it's Divine Feminine, since Divine Feminine is the one really trying to actively manifest and Divine Masculine sees Divine Feminine in this hermit energy, very Virgo-esque energy. By the way, the Fool is Aquarius and the Hierophant is Taurus. And we've got the High Priestess here, which is Pisces. Hermit energy. Yeah, King of Swords. Wow. And her, I have never seen that happen before. Okay. So, um, divine masculine showing up here as king of swords. And then how does divine masculine feel about divine feminine? And we get hermit kind of to themselves. King of swords. See, that's a mirrored energy. See, seeing divine feminine in the same way they're showing up. Cool, aloof detached, maybe a little uh, not so user friendly, not emotion, you know, emotionally available. Um, and then the hermit comes out on top of that again. So I really feel that divine masculine sees this divine feminine as someone who's very cold, a cool cucumber closed off not emotionally available, doing their own thing, very cloistered, like super introverted, super introverted is what just came through. Yeah, wow. And we might know why that is if Divine Feminine isn't sure that Divine Feminine can trust Divine Masculine. Seven of Swords here. 
how this divine feminine feels about divine masculine. There's the Knight of Wands again. Yeah. Is concerned this may be a player. Right. Here's how they feel. I don't know if I can trust this person. I don't know if this person's a player or my Nirvana, my happily ever after. I don't know. Which would explain why Divine Feminine is coming across as closed off, introverted, inaccessible. On the bottom is the Three of Cups. I think the Divine Feminine underneath it all, maybe even unbeknownst to themselves, is worried there's another party involved, is, is, un, is not sure of Divine Masculine's intentions toward Divine Feminine because there may be another person involved. And so it's sort of pulled back and has kind of gone unto themselves and is razor sharp using their intellect, their insight, their wisdom, their knowledge, maintaining honor and integrity but not real accessible kind of very in introverted that's what i'm seeing here so when i now look over here i see yeah ride the wave yeah, divine feminines trying to be sure that what they're dealing with is not a rogue wave that they have prepared to see the crest and, you know, to see the swell and swim, swim, swim and keep their eye on, eye on. You never turn your back to the waves, by the way. And then just as it crests, ride it safely into shore. That is the proper way to catch a wave. <laughs> you don't get so far out ahead that you think you got it. And then what you got is a runaway wave, a rogue wave. So I'm just using that metaphor because I grew up on the shore, so... I totally understand what that feels like in real life. And unexpected visitors, yes. Um, expecting the unexpected. I, I have a feeling that if Divine Masculine would put his head up, I say head because I just said masculine, put his head up and this figure is a male and look right at that Ace of Cups would get a whole big surprise, not realizing that the person that they feel is so closed off is really the one. Wow. Okay. If this is your storyline, dear Aries, the link to the extended is below. I'll see you over there. Otherwise, have a wonderful February and I'll see you on a future reading. Take care. Bye.